Hi, welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. Hey, I am doing a video today about not your normal Christmas gifts to get your loved ones that are in the music industry, whether it's to share it through video sharing like we're doing here or to write music. Uh, instead of telling you to buy a new plugin or a synthesizer or something like that, I have some other ideas to share into the melting pot of ideas. I'm sitting in my upstairs bedroom of my house. It's my studio space that I work from. Um, I've made many, many libraries, including the new one called Magic Motion for Unify. And I did not make it with this lighting. <laughs> I had nice lighting that put me into a good mood. So the first thing you need to do is there, that's better. Lighting is so important. And if you're sitting in a room with just standard light bulbs, uh, talk to your loved ones and say, hey, help me make my room cool. Get me some vibe in my room to work from. So some suggestions, Himalayan salt lamps are wonderful. Make sure you get one that has a dimmer switch so you can make it darker or brighter instead of just on and off. On my ceiling is a new little thing. This is a Skylight Evolve. Links in the video description for these uh, suggestions. I don't have affiliate links. If you like what I'm sharing here with you, please consider coming to my website and I'll do a little bit more of a promotion at the very end. I make sounds for a living. It's a win-win. You get new sounds for some of your favorite synthesizer plugins, which gives them new life, a whole new personality, persona in a lot of cases. I also have my own plugin Unify, which we've got 32 libraries for. So more at the end about that. But setting up your room to have an ambiance is just a wonderful thing. It makes you feel good. There's these wonderful light bulbs that you can now buy that are Bluetooth and are able to be changed to any color. So I actually have behind me two different sets of lights that are on a Bluetooth controller with my phone. And so I can go to the back bank that's green, and if I want, I can say, no, I want you to be red. And boom, just like that, they're red. Or if I want them to be a different color, the other set, let's say instead of green, let's have them be blue. They're blue. And I'm gonna post a picture. You do not have to buy really expensive ex enclosures to hold these light bulbs. <laughs> I'm using very inexpensive circular Home Depot. <laughs> Attach anywhere you want little light fixture holders. Because once you plug it in and you turn on Bluetooth on your phone, it's not that hard to connect them. I have found the ones that use the Wiz app to be really reliable, but lighting is important. So suggestion number one, change your lights. Another suggestion is to get a better hard drive. Hard drives are the most important thing maybe in your system because modern computers are shooting data back and forth to hard drives very, very fast if they can, and that makes computers work faster. All these libraries, even the free libraries you can find now are getting into the gigabytes, so you always need new space. There's a couple options. One is to get a little enclosure. You'll see a picture on the screen. This is, like, you can get one of these for like under $400 for the enclosure, and an NVMe 4.0 is the version. You don't want a version three, you want a version four. You can get four terabyte hard drives that are up to 3,500 megabytes a second. That's three and a half gigabytes a second that is able to shuffle around and is so fast. Hard drives is a great way. The other option is to get one of these. If you have Mac Studios or Mac Mini, they make these little tiny enclosures like this, which have lots of ports on the front, lots of ports on the back, and it can hold two hard drives inside of it. So check this out. If I unscrew and pull this open so you can see, this is a two and a half inch solid state drive. That's four terabytes. And here is what an NVMe little SSD drive looks like. Just a little tiny card. So this is eight terabytes. That's 8,000 gigabytes inside of an enclosure that my computer can sit on. So I don't have hard drives and cables and stuff going out everywhere. Each of these drives is about $200 each, which is incredible. It used to be thousands of dollars for even a fraction of this amount of memory. <laughs> I've paid over $3,000 for a hard drive in my past. My goodness. And this enclosure is $85. This one is the Hagibis 
enclosure. It seemed to be the fastest and got the most positive reviews that I could see on my research that I did. Uh, there's a number of these that are available and they could be getting faster all the time, but this is my Christmas present to myself this year. Well, next up on the list of unusual ideas is this. This is a Blackmagic HDMI input, which allows you to take your video camera, like I'm using a Sony a7 III for this video that you're seeing of my face and all that stuff. That is going into this. Actually, it's going through a little HDMI mixer, but then that feed goes into this before it goes to the computer. Lots of computers, most computers have an HDMI output. They don't have an HDMI input. So a little something like this Blackmagic Recorder 3G gets HDMI footage into your computer so you can do streaming with OBS, uh, other options like that, so you can start sharing video and making videos of your world. So if you have someone in your life that does music and wants to start sharing what they're playing and stuff, you'll need one of these. So this is a really cool gift. They'll, they'll thank you and you're, you're, you could be changing their career path with this. So there you go. Next up on the list of ideas is a portable field recorder. These are two different Tascam models. I did a library called Signs of Life. These are recordings from a trip in Costa Rica that I did with this field recorder, this one right here. And then this is a new one I just got that I've updated my system. This is the Porta Capture X8. Instead of this just being two stereo microphones on the end, this actually has the stereo microphones here and it also has two stereo XLR inputs on each side. So you can actually have six microphones being recording whatever you want, a band that have different mics on different people or it, whatever you want to use it for. I, a lot of times I use this in a, in a field with a single shotgun microphone and then stereo microphones so that I can get something closer to what I'm recording as well as also pick up a stereo ambiance at the same time a little bit farther back. It works great, it's wonderful. Another fun idea for those that have lots of equipment is to start getting them something out of the box. This is a portable reverb unit that does wonderful sounds. There's a number of these that are wonderful. This is the Specular Tempest. Um, there's a couple others that are wonderful. I'll put links to a couple of them that I really like. And finally, the last suggestion I have, there's, there's so many, I mean, better stereo monitor speakers. Get a pair of Genelec monitors. They're like my favorite as far as reference audio for like incredible sound quality. There's great microphones not a huge budget and they sound great. That's what I'm using for my voice. But the last suggestion I have is a portable video recorder like the DJI Pocket Osmo. This is the version one. I'm waiting for a version three. I've ordered it, but it's out of stock because they're very popular right now. These, the quality is great. The fact that it has a gimbal so that it's very, very smooth footage. It's a wonderful field video recorder to take with you and work with. So. If you are getting more into making your own videos and you want something to take with you, the DJI Osmo is a great option. So again, these are not affiliated. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. These are things I own that I have paid for that I just use all the time that I endorse and want to share with you as ideas for you. So, and then lastly, of course, is Unify and my software libraries that I sell at my website, pluginguru.com. I'm up to over 90 libraries. I've <laughs> been doing this since 2009, so it's been a while. 
But if you have contact, if you have omnisphere, if you have massive, uh, if you have reactor and you have the Razor Ensemble, I have three incredible libraries. I have my own software program, Unify. We have 32 libraries. The newest library that I just released a couple days ago is Beautiful Ambiences. I, I, I gave myself the name of the library and then I made the library. This is Magic Motion. So it's all sorts of sounds that have motion just happening automatically. And with Unify, this is the coolest secret weapon that people don't know a lot about. A lot of people are not aware of this. This is a host plugin, but we do things far, far deeper than just being a host. We can load all your plugins. So instead of being five layers of our Guru Sampler, this could be five serum patches that's playing at once. It's incredible. Uh, but what's really cool is if you go here to Unify Layer, any patch that I click is immediately added to what I'm playing. So I can go to all these different patches. Let's add a BPM pad to this so we have. I added three patches with three clicks. So Unify is something out of the box. It makes every plugin you own better because now you can layer them, you can stack them, you can save them as patches that you can load into each other. It's great. I made it affordable. It's always on sale to everybody. And then we have 32 libraries, Magic Motion being the latest one that I am really thrilled to release because it has so many cool... I love this. I'll just show this for a second. This is really cool. This is one of the Motion Bell patches. You just play one note. Very sparse so you can play chords we have a really cool effect in here called pump house you can use to add tempo reference and again since you can use layers you can go unify layer go down here to these really cool pads you could say like first light and let's add the Air God small mix. Just really, really cool stuff. So anyway, I hope these ideas helped you and inspired you. Make your room feel good. Make it have a cool vibe. Good audio recording, good video recording. And last, last idea. Go to a store of imports and get a the little, little meditation bell. I love these. You can roll and ring up the energy. Warms the spirit. So anything to make creative process better. All right. So thank you for watching. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.